Lake Cedrus. I died. What the fuck? And Picarina was still hot That's the bullshit. Tail when they reached the edge of a dim and darksome lake. Oh, please, someone, anyone, help! Save me from my Whoa! Lake Seath. They heard the shrill cries of a damsel in distress. Okay, bouncy. Oh, come on! That's cheap. I gotta start from the beginning, no checkpoints. What? Ah, what's that? Lake Cedrus had been one of the Moon Realm's top tourist attractions. What happened? Until, of course, it got what? turned into a. What happened? Nothing hit me. I died for no reason. I literally died for no reason. Nothing touched me. What the hell was that? Okay. What? Ah, what's that? All right, there. Oh. Help! Oh, please help! Somebody save us! Oh, I'll help here! I mean, I'm a Did you know? Yeah. Frogs are low in calories and contain high uh -oh. energy. Beauty in every bite. Oh, oh, is she eating her own kids? For real? She ate her kids. Nice. Delicious. Living in the lake were adorable little creatures known as the Capagaiu, but the rat's toxin had triggered a most unpleasant metamorphosis, and the few Capagaiu who dodged that bullet now faced extinction at the hands of their psychopathic relative. All right, nice. Do, 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 do. In days of yore, the moon goddess herself oh. was it is to the lake, but you wouldn't know it now, unless her idea of a day off was frightful fishes, freakish frogs, and phantasmal vistas. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Good going right now. It's the Amazing Frog! It's the family of Amazing Frog! Nice! Oh shit, I'm supposed to cut it? Oh! Yes. Boom. Right in the mouth. Very nice. Whoa. Once this very taiko drum boomed and bland as the Kapagairu fested their festivals. Now the tune had changed. Oh shit, I almost fell. Just picture it. The pristine water, like glass, nestled in a vast... Oh my god! Lake. It was the perfect getaway for two young lovers. The grass by the lake, soft upon the buttocks. 
<laughs> Soft upon the buttocks. Well, just say it was a very memorable honeymoon, even for a man full of memorable stories. But those vividly luscious days are lost, like frogs in a blender. When you get as old as me, Poor frogs. and the days grow as weary and predictable as they do, you too will be longing for grass on your buttocks. You mark my words. Okay. Sure I will. This guy's an expert on buttocks. <laughs> what is this? A statue? Looks like one of the Moai. Or is it supposed to be Buddha? I don't know, but I don't have the hat that I need for it. Kutaro pressed on, unflinching, across the dangerous lake's mossy rocks and aquatic leaves, slashing at the petals on the wind as if composing a marvelous poem. Onward our hero sloshed, noting with every sploosh that the rat's purple poison had been splotched all over the place like a putrid paint. Oh, my head! Once. Fuck! Beautiful once. Could you shut up once? I drowned! The lily pad sinks! I didn't know that! Oh my god, I didn't know the lily pad sinks! Onward our hero sloshed, noting with every sploosh that the rat's purple poison had been splotched all over the place like a putrid paint. I had dreams once. I was beautiful once. Could you shut up once? Okay. Oh! A paper lantern head? It almost looks like one of those paper ones. I don't have it. Where'd it go? It said the paper lantern head, but it didn't. I don't have it. I don't know. I do not know. A springy, a springy. Yes, a springy. I like a springy. At the heart of Lake Cedrus. Whoa! Is that it? Did we get her? The rat spell? It's broken? Oh, at 
last, my former splendor will be restored. Oh my god. Dramatic. She has a turtle shell too. Still alive, you know. What gives? Oh. I can't work with this hand. Oh my gosh, this is mortifying. Come on, Kataro. Wait, wait! I'm not finished. The gods, the gods of the Moonwood, they are in danger. Drive us danger. Ma, you are doomed, doomed. Oh my God! Shut up. The end is assured. <laughs> it's grievous, you ignoramus. Oh, that's it. Stop everything. Jeez, lady, who flushed your muse down the toilet? <sighs> Curtain. Bill, get her out of here. I'll uh. surprise for the audience. <clears throat> okay. So basically, me and Kataro are the cedars. Oh. You must find mother and father cedar at the center of the forest. <laughs> me and Kataro have to save the Moonwood's guardian deity. Whose roots stretch oh. beneath the whole forest. Yes. Who? Line. If Rat convinces them to drink this nefarious blood, the mixer. Wait, okay, we're done. Next scene. Yes, Kataro, they love you now. <laughs> we are doomed. The forest shall rot. The birds shall choke. Their oh own my trees. God! The cataclysm is upon us. Oh. Oh, finally. <laughs> A very good day to you, sir. What an honor it is to meet the one and only mother and father Cedar. <laughs> Heard you polite and well spoken, too. Make yourself at home. <laughs> You're the talk of the forest, don't you know? They're all raving about that. Lick so. What's it you've got? Ah, yes! The elixir! It cures any ailment! <laughs> oh, God! That stupid elixir that was fake! But you are both still so juvenilous! Surely you are having no need for such physics and interventions! <laughs> oh, listen to you! When you've got as much mileage as us, you start to develop certain, well, issues. Oh, I can't reach it. Whoa. Needing is this. 
we go. Kill them all. Here, allow me to gift you with this limited time for resample. Look at this guy. Chipmunk or something. Uh. Somebody call nine one one. Now the moon word is doomed. You tricked them into drinking it. Now they're all fucked up. What the hell? His treachery lay bare. Rat sprayed mother and father cedar with a revolting violent crew. Silly shrubbery. Your forest is belonging to the moon bear king now. A few rockets <laughs> bombs should blow all that goop off. What do I do? I can't climb. I don't know how to get up there to do this one. There we go. Ow. You jerk. Nice. Ah. I lost my head, fuck! God damn it. Not enough time, I don't think. There we go. Oh, all right, her turn. from way high up I couldn't reach it what the hell I tried everything for a limited time buy the one get one no two free while supplies last <laughs> I tried. What the fuck do you want me to do, asshole? Oh, look. You're supposed to use the leaves on the other side. Ah, oh, okay. Got him. Now, Kataro, take Calibris and cut his jetpack open. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, got him. That's it. He's got no jetpack left. Sipped his mouse balls off, too. Oh, we did it. Wait, please. I beg of you to spare my life. Let this loser have it, Kataro. No. Uh. Hurt enough people. I had no choice. That unscrupulous Moon Bear King made the threats to me. He said he would bite off my head if I did not corrupt the Moonwood. I, I, I am meek and powerless and had no choice but to obey. Oh, how sweet. The poor little rat. We never even considered he might be a victim to. Oh, boy. 
no respect for middle management. Yeah, he's a victim, all right. But that's, that's just, just our opinion. opinion. You, don't you don't have, have to, to punish, punish the creature on our behalf. Oh, what kindness! What mercy! Oh, I am catching deeply, truly. If you let me squeak by, I will give you whatever you ask. You need only. Uh, blown the hell. How about that? You know the Lixima call it that's supposed to help the missus's F-18 problem. Yes, the elixir. We've tried everything to cure my husband's pit odor. Nothing works. Just take a whiff. I've <laughs> got a surprise for you. Come on, wow! <laughs> Oh my god. Is that ever gonna fucking end? Jesus. Endless fucking stupid cutscene. It never ends. Getting the stinky pits in old age. Never to wait. Well, uh, perhaps. Too much chunk in your trunk? Never to fear. With just one gulp of plum miraculexia, you can kiss the problems goodbye. Ever wonder how the Moon Bear King got so strong? It's plum simple, dear. Curious why the Moon Goddess was so beautiful? It's a plum oh. simple. Guaranteed by the Mooney Mage Administration or your money back. Oh. Oh, but it must cost a fortune. It does. But today is your lucky day. For a limited time, we're offering a 90-day free trial. It will not cost you to die. Not one dime. But you had better act now. This offer ends as soon as our program is over. Grab that phone today. today. Oh my god, it continues. Did you cut it out? By the way, Kuto, oh. maybe you could do me a favor. Do you think those scissors of yours could lop a few pounds off the missus? Oh! Wow, so I guess they got another piece of the moonstone. I think they killed the rat. Death of a sales rat. With the help of Calibrus, Kuturo defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro. The souls he freed were homeward bound. All right. Oh, long ass ending to that chapter. It took forever. Rats, callous lies had brought the Moonwood to the brink of ruin, and while his defeat added another moonstone shard to Kutaro's pile. A new adversary had already slithered within striking distance. <laughs>